Okay, what I'm going to do in this video is talk through phase difference and wave interference um, using some of these graphs that I gave you on a worksheet. Um, so I'm just going to work through the answers to each of these graphs. So what you're going to do is you're going to take um, the, the blue and the red waves and you're going to basically calculate the constructive or destructive interference that takes place um, at each given second um, on the graph. So the first thing we need to do is work from zero seconds. Um, what you see is this blue line has an amplitude of zero, zero meters, um, and this red, red wave has an amplitude of minus eight, it's about minus eight. Now, if we take the product of these two points at this, uh, just here, um, there isn't gonna be any interference taking place, so the resultant wave is gonna start at this green dot just here. Now, where this starts to get a little bit more tricky is when we see both waves above here, the resting point. So at one second, um, what we see is that the blue wave is at about, a, it's around about not eight or nine, okay? And the red wave is at about 11 or 12. So we call it eight and 12, okay? So eight plus 12 gives us 20, okay? So when we put a point at that. Now what we can then do is we can join up these dots in a minute. This is gonna form the basis of our resultant wave. We'll do the same at this point at two seconds. Here we have a blue wave again at about an amplitude of eight meters. And the red wave here has an amplitude of 20. If we add these two together, it gives us an amplitude of somewhere around 28. And there we can see this resultant wave just like that is beginning to form just like that. And then three seconds, if we do the same here, we have Again, the blue line here is actually hit the resting point because we've actually gone half a wavelength. Uh, and this, ray, this red wave is again about, at about eight. And what this means is, because we have a zero and an eight, this blue wave is not affecting this red wave. So the resultant wave is just here. Okay, and again, we can draw down to that point. Then we come to four seconds. Now, both of the waves at this point have moved onto the negative side of the resting point. Um, these because they're on the same side, will still um, construct. So they'll both affect each other in this direction. So this is at about negative eight and negative nine, and this is at negative 12. So we call that eight, negative eight and negative 12. That takes us to negative 20. And then we get that doing that to there. And then at five seconds, so we've nearly finished this one, this point here, is again it's at about negative eight or nine and this one is at negative 20 so add them up to about here and there we have that there so what we can see here is there's been no effect overall on the wave here we've seen constructive this is this is constructive this again is where we have no effect because the blue blue line blue wave is on the the, the rest point here we have constructive and here we have constructive. So that's given us this, this new wave. So that's the first one done. Let's flip over the page and we come to this second image. Here we have a situation with the blue line where it, sta it starts on the zero um, amplitude mark, um, which means it's not going to affect this red mark here. So we start just here. Again, then we move to one second. Now at this point, we have, a, we have a blue wave above the rest point and a red wave below the, the rest point. What this means is we're gonna get a destructive interference pattern. So it's gonna be, so this one here is at roughly minus 19, and this one is at roughly minus nine, oh, sorry, plus nine. Um, so if we do minus 19 plus nine, this gives us negative 10. So what we can see then is that these, this is the new resultant wave just here. Now don't draw any lines yet, just build the points first. So point at two seconds, again we can see two points on the wave that are, again, above and below the resting point. So we're gonna get destructive um, interference here. This one is at about plus nine, and this one is around about plus seven, minus seven, minus seven, yeah. So that's gonna give us so this is plus nine, minus seven. So it gives us an amplitude of around about two. So we can see here that the resultant wave is just crossed the resting point just there. Move on to this one. Now this, this point here, again, we've got half a wave. 
this this blue line is on the resting point just here this one here will not be affected so again you can see this wave the resultant wave is beginning to take shape let's do the four second one so this one is up at about plus 19 this one is at about negative 9 so that's going to give us a plus 10 point there so again that's that point through to that point through to that point through to that point and then we just do this last one here uh, that is at plus 7 and that is at minus probably about minus 8 or 9 so it's going to probably sit around about there and there we have our result new result and wave like so um, which it, again it looks completely different to the two other waves because they both interfered with each other um, in that sense so that's the second one done this is the third one um, which Oh, um, actually looks exactly the same as the second one so I won't bother doing that one apologies for that guys oh it's slightly different it is slightly different there is there are different numbers on it so it starts 0 to negative 5 so it starts there again this one is at plus 9 and 19 so it goes to there so this one is slightly increasing whereas the previous one was decreasing so it's slightly different it might look the same at face value this one is so that's about plus 9 minus 14 so that's going to be about there three seconds that's going to stay there because this blue one is at the rest point four seconds we've got 19 and 9 so it's going to be at plus 10 and then we have 14 and 9 so it's going to be about there so again we can draw a new line like so and there we go so there's that one and then the fourth one again you're probably getting the hang of this now hopefully um, we have zero and and because that's at zero this one isn't affected the sec the, the first second 9 and 14 so it's going to be about there 2 seconds in we've got 5 and about 9 so it's going to go up to about there that's a, that's a constructive section there 3 seconds in we have a point there because the blue line is on the rest point 4 seconds we have negative 9 and 14, so it's going to be about there. And then this one, is again, this is going to be constructive because both of them are on this side of the, the wave. That's minus 5 and minus 9, so it's going to be about there. So then if we just, so this is going to come around and over to there and then it's going to go down through to there and you have your new wave and those are the answers to that particular worksheet any questions give me a shout